when we meditate, we take things that we already have, things that seem very ordinary, and we try to make something extraordinary out of them. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing. These are things that are very ordinary. The breath they focus on is very ordinary. But when you put them together, they have a lot of potential. The breath can be comfortable or very comfortable, very uncomfortable. So try to find a way of breathing that feels really good right now. And if you forget, start wandering off and just keep reminding yourself this is where you want to be. There's a lot of work to be done. Good work. But it does require that you stick with it. If you don't stick with it, it's like planting a tree and then forgetting to water it. It'll last for a while and then start getting sickly and then die. You see that it's died? Well, you plant another one. And then after a while it dies. And you wonder why it dies. Well, you're not watering them. If you water them continually, they have a chance to grow. So make your awareness continual. Mindfulness is what keeps your mind. You stay right here, or stay right here. And as you keep coming back, coming back, it gets stronger. And the longer you're here, the more your alertness can see. And John Lee compares it to walking on a path that you walk over back and forth, back and forth every day. You could make it mechanical if you wanted to, not pay any attention. But if you start paying attention, you begin to see things on the edge of the path. Things that are getting in your way, you begin to clear the path, get the stones out of the way, get the obstacles out of the way, so you can see from one end of the path to the other. So if any snakes or anything come into the path, you see them right away. And as for the plants that are growing along the side of the path, you get to know them, which ones are food, which ones are medicine. It's the same path, but there are going to be little bits of difference here and there. And you learn to notice these things. Because that's what the meditation is for, is to learn how to read your mind, how to notice things that are going on there, that have been going on all along, but you haven't been paying attention. So now that you pay attention and you go back and forth, breath comes in, breath goes out, well, it comes in again, goes out again, again and again. You begin to see subtle differences, and then you can begin to see even more subtle differences in the mind. And this is how you get to know yourself by spending a lot of time right here. It's like learning a language. You stay in the country where the language is spoken, and after a while you begin to pick it up. It seems to be in the air. So stay right here. Things will appear in the mind that have always been there, but you didn't see them before. Because you're staying right here, going back and forth over the same place again and again and again right here. Things are bound to appear.